it is not going to be by might nor by power but it is going to be by the spirit of god all things what he wants to do in you and in your life god is going to accomplish it through the power of the holy spirit even as we are going to hold on to the power of the holy spirit i am sure that we are going to walk into the blessings of god hallelujah god the spirit is going to bring an increase a supernatural increase in your life uh, as you're believing it as you're waiting for it i'm telling you this is what god is going to do god the spirit is going to supernaturally open up doors for you by unlocking many uh, keys in your life amen god the spirit is going to demonstrate certain powerful act in your life through the holy spirit that whom you're trusting probably you were believing on the word yes its word is important but it is not just going to be merely in words oh i believe just in word and and word and it is not just going to be something written and something intangible but god is going to bring it to you into your life by the spirit of god hallelujah it is going to be active it is going to be demonstrable it is going to be expressive and that's what god said my dear friend hallelujah Dear friends, praise the Lord. Good to meet you again in this new year 2022 through this promise message. I am very glad to meet all of you uh, in this wonderful times and season that we are living in. And even as I come to you as I was praying for this month of February and amazing promise that God has put in our hands for us to believe and to take hold of the days that is coming ahead. So I believe it is going to really bless you. Amen. So let's look into the promise for this month of February 2022. The word of God that the Lord has given me uh, is from 1st Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7 and 1st Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20. These two scriptures the Lord spoke to me. The first one, 1st Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7 says, so then neither he who plants is anything nor he who waters but god who gives the increase let me read it again so then neither he who plants is anything nor he who waters but god who gives the increase chapter 4 verse 20 says for the kingdom of god is not in word but in power the kingdom of god is not in word but in power I want to tell you this is an amazing promise when God spoke to me and I believe this is going to bless. You know, this is going to be month of expressive Holy Spirit's power. And that's what God said. You know why? Because it is not going to be by might nor by power, but it is going to be by the spirit of God. Not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of God. All things what he wants to do in you and in your life God is going to accomplish it through the power of the Holy Spirit. Even as we are going to hold on to the power of the Holy Spirit, I am sure that we are going to walk into the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is spirit. God is spirit and those who worship him should worship him in truth and in spirit. That's what the word of God says. So God the spirit is going to do marvelous work in our lives uh, during this season. That's what I believe. God the spirit is going to bring an increase a supernatural increase in your life uh, as you're believing it as you're waiting for it i'm telling you this is what god is going to do god the spirit is going to supernaturally open up doors for you by unlocking many uh, keys in your life amen and also he told me that god the spirit is going to demonstrate certain powerful act in your life through the holy spirit that whom you're trusting so it's not just going to be by words probably you were believing on the word yes its word is important but it is not just going to be merely in words oh i believe just in word and and word and it's not just going to be something written and something intangible but god is going to bring it to you into your life by the spirit of god hallelujah it is going to be active it is going to be demonstrable it is going to be expressive and that's what god said my dear friend hallelujah so i am very glad and i am very uh, thrilled to see what marvel god is going to do in your life so not by might not by power but by the spirit of god so uh, if you look into the scripture i just want to tell uh, one or two things and just pray for you amen so here if you see the scripture says 
so then neither he who plants is anything nor he who waters so then you can ask supernaturally that means pastor everything is going to come i i don't have to do anything see here it says those people who are watering those people who are planting they are important i'm saying right those people who need to see uh, seed they have to seed those people who have to plant they have to plant those people who are, have to water they have to water they are good people there is nothing wrong about it but what god wants to tell is uh, even if there is no planting even if there is no watering god is going to do something supernatural hallelujah uh, the important thing that we see here even if the the one who is going to water is not available even if the one who is going to plant is not available but still god is going to do a supernatural work in your life through the power of the holy spirit i just give you two examples and i want to pray you know there was a situation for the people of god they were listening to christ the messiah 5000 of them they were in the wilderness uh, when they were in the wilderness there is no way they can go and buy food for all this 5000 people there were 5000 men alone but there were additionally women and children along with them probably there were more than 5000 people were there but the word of god says when god met up with that experience and uh, they have to feed them because they had with christ, they had been with christ for 3 days and almost all of them ran out of food and they are going to faint if there is no supply of food but there comes the situation God, jesus is saying please give them something to eat so that they can go safely and uh, there was a situation where uh, there was no food available what the money they had was not enough there was no resource they cannot go immediately and buy uh, uh, groceries and food uh, supplies for them to feed them but immediately jesus is asking when they told this trouble uh, what do you have in your hand they went and searched uh, uh, everybody and they came up with an answer a boy has uh, his in his stiffen box five loaves and two fish and jesus said bring that that's all is enough maybe what you have is not enough for what you need to have but i tell you supernaturally the lord says it is not by word it is going to be a demonstration of the power of god though things were not enough in that situation but yet god turned what was not enough into an abundant supply they had to take 12 basket back in excess amen hallelujah so therefore i believe uh, this month god is going to demonstrate expressively uh, his power uh, through the holy spirit so expressive holy spirit's power is going to demonstrate in your life secondly another example where you see when the philistines were attacking israel and they were threatening israel and they wanted to uh, defeat the children of god at michmash they were waiting uh, to wage a war and therefore uh, they were uh, threatening the israelites and there were uh, no enough uh, Uh, ammunitions in is uh, in the camp of israel there were not enough people there were multitudes the philistines were multitude but israelites were very few so they were uh, they were threatened they cannot even go and fight the battle and there comes jonathan and his armor bearer when people were not enough he said with few or little people yet the lord will give victory hallelujah so therefore my friend be encouraged god has given precedence in his word what he can do not by might not by power but by the spirit of god amen hallelujah it is not going to be by the one who waters they are fine it is not by the one who plants but it is god who is going to give the increase amen it is god who is going to give increase uh, not by just merely word but in power but in power if you believe with me this uh, month close your eyes and bow down your heads i'm going to pray and release this blessing upon you and you're going to see something supernatural i'm very strongly believe my friend my dear father heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful people who are listening to this uh, promise this month father i pray even as your word of god says uh, even as your scripture has spoken it is not by might not by power but by the spirit of god it is not by the one who waters not not, not by the per- person who plants but the god who gives increase it is not uh, just going to be in the word but it is going to be by power by the demonstrative power lord i pray in the name of jesus that god you are going to supernaturally 
perform a marvelous work in their lives father god when they may seem uh, to have not enough in their life maybe they are looking forward there is no resources in their life maybe they are thinking they don't have enough people in their life uh, whatever that situation may be but god you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we can imagine or think and i pray in the name of jesus that every need of your children will be met and supernaturally you will give them an increase which only comes from god and god alone because we worship a miracle working god and i pray and i thank you lord for this marvelous door of opportunity being open we thank you for the provision that is coming we thank you for the ministry that is expanding we thank you for the people are getting saved i pray a blessing over everyone who is listening right now and your power will evidently manifest in their lives through the holy ghost we praise you we give you glory in jesus mighty name we pray and the people of god said amen 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 praise god